Who wants to make a thousand horsepower? Well, here's how we did it with a 4.8, 5.3, 6.0, 6.2, and 7 liter. In this video, we've got thousand horsepower combos. We've got a twin turbo 4.8, we've got a Pro Charge 5.3, we've got a Vortex Supercharged 6 liter, we've got a Whipple Supercharged 6.2 liter, and a 7 liter 427. We made a thousand horsepower with two different superchargers. Let's check it out. The first of our 1,000 horsepower combos is the 4.8 liter. And because I've only done one 4.8 that actually exceeded 1,000 horsepower, we gotta go back to the Big Bang, the original Big Bang 4.8 liter. I guess that means I need to do more 4.8 stuff that's in the four digit range. Got a lot of stuff that's like in the 800, 900 horsepower range, and that kind of seems to be where we tune it all, but we gotta do more 1,000 horsepower stuff. But this was our Big Bang 4.8, the original OG. This thing had a stock bottom end. It was a Gen 3 version. It had ported heads, a cam, and a fast intake. This particular one had TEA ported 706 heads and a Comp XER281 cam. We'll put the specs up. But that 4.8 liter stock bottom end produced 450 horsepower and 378 foot-pounds of torque. So here's what happened after we started adding boost. We'll jump right up to 14 pounds. So that was over 800 horsepower. 19 pounds put us over 900. And because we didn't go up one pound at a time, we were going up lots of pounds at a time. At 23, 23 pounds, we were 1,077. So there's your 1,000 horsepower combination. It was this cam 4.8 and it had a good intake and good heads on it. So it allowed us to produce a lot of power at any given boost level, but 1,077 at 23 pounds of boost. Now I may as well go ahead and show you since this is going to be the last power combination we'll put together. Here's what happened after we ran 26 pounds, 26 and a half. Made over 1,200 horsepower, made 12.03, and it was still going up every time. Uh, we just ran out of dyno room, and we were starting to run into problems with the wastegate, which I think probably now was, may have been a back pressure issue with those CX Racing turbos, but this thing was still alive after we took it out off the dyno, and this thing had like 60 or 70 pulls over 1,000 horsepower, so it, it wasn't uh, like a one-shot wonder deal. This thing, this thing was punched out and could have kept going. This is our 1,000 horsepower 4.8, Let's take a, look, take a look at a 5.3 liter. our 1,000 horsepower 5.3 liter combo. Now we could have obviously gone with the 5.3 liter Big Bang motor like that 4.8 <coughs> I showed previously. That thing made over 1,300 horsepower, but I decided to do something a little different. This one was actually a supercharged version, and this was a 5.3 liter crate motor or a crate short block from ATK. So it was their boost ready deal. It had four draws and pistons um, and a stock block, stock crank, Thing also had a comp blower cam in it. I'll go ahead and put the specs up. It was nice uh, because we were going to supercharge this thing anyway, and it also allowed us to rev the motor fairly high on this 5.3 liter, especially when we combined it with the Holly High Ram intake. This thing ran inch and 7 inch headers and a Holly HP management system as we normally do. And equipped like this, our 5.3 liter test motor produced 466 horsepower and 412 foot-pounds of torque. So it was a good solid combination, but the thing is it had forged pistons and good heads and a good intake manifold, so really it just wanted some boost. So what we did was install a Pro Charger. So we installed a this was a Pro Charger F1A 94 supercharger and air to water intercooler. 
And equipped with that Pro Charger, I'll go ahead and show you the peak boost on that, but it was up pretty high. We also put a radius entry, air entry, into the inlet of the supercharger to help with flow, because that definitely helps, especially when you get up near the flow limits of the, of the supercharger. But equipped with that Pro Charger, this thing made 1,005 horsepower, officially making it one of our 1,000 horsepower combinations, and 758 foot-pounds of torque. And as I said, the combination of the cam and the heads and the high ram intake allowed us to rev this thing, and we made peak power out near 7,000 RPM. So with a centrifugal supercharger having lots of RPM since the boost rises with RPM, that allowed us to make a good peak number. And four digits, that's a pretty serious power combination. Nice thousand horsepower, 5.3. Let's take a look at our six liter. To mix things up on our six liter combination, we actually chose an LS2, or more aptly, I chose an L something where we started out with an LS2 block, but we installed, we created a stroker, a 402 inch stroker by putting a four inch stroke in it. And the thing that was bored probably five thousandths over because you can't go too far on those um, LS2 blocks. But we created a stroker and then added a supercharger to it. But we, we equipped this stroker first with a set of ported LS3 heads from Total Engine Airflow. So they were factory LS3 heads and they, they treated them to their stage two porting. We also installed a healthy comp cam. It was a 624 lift, 239, 247 duration and 114. And then we had the stock, uh, or actually a fast LS3 intake manifold, although it made the same power with the stock LS3 manifold as well. You know, an inch and three quarter headers on this. So equipped as such, our stroker produced 591 horsepower and 553 foot-pounds of torque. Then we installed a Vortec supercharger. To allow us to jump up over the thousand horsepower mark. And the Vortex Supercharger was a, a YSI and we also used an air to water intercooler on this because the boost was you know fairly high to make this power level. I'll go ahead and put the peak boost up as we do. But you can see that the combination of especially I mean a good a good LS motor even if it's a six liter you know, you could make 550 or 600 horsepower with a six liter, but we did this with a stroker. But a stroker is even better because it'll have more torque, especially with a centrifugal blower. But a good combination with boost makes lots of power. And this one was no exception. 402 stroker LS3 headed motor with Vortec boost made 1,005 horsepower and peak torque was 820 foot pounds of torque. Let's check out our 6.2 liter. Much like the 6 liter, we chose a stroker version for our 6.2 liter. So it started out with an LS3 block, but we installed again a 4 inch crank in it and bored this thing to a 4070 bore, making a 416 inch motor. We also equipped this thing with a ported set of LS3 heads. These came from Dr. J's back in the day, and they I think they started out as a Pro Comp head. Yes, and then we had a healthy uh, comp blower cam. It was a 62596 lift. Um, actually, this was a VTR blower cam. Uh, 62596 lift, 239, 250, and a 113. Um, this was actually not a blower specific cam, but we did use it on this application, and it worked pretty well. We ran this thing with a fast. LSXR uh, intake manifold, the 102 throttle body, and obviously that was designed for those LS3 heads. So our 416 stroker also had a dish piston in it, so this was kind of a low compression deal. This thing produced 592 horsepower and 552 foot-pounds of torque. So here's what happened after, and the reason that we built this was so that we could run a big Whipple supercharger on it. We put a four liter Whipple supercharger on it and started out about 12 pounds and we made almost 800 horsepower, 792, and the torque was 717 foot pounds of torque, but obviously we didn't leave it there because this was a thousand horsepower combination. So we did a pulley swap on it and cranked the boost up to 22 pounds where this thing made 
1,045 horsepower, and peak torque was up to 983 foot-pounds torque, so this thing did very well. Over 1,000 horsepower with a Whipple supercharger, again, combined boost and displacement and good cylinder heads and cam timing, all this stuff works out really well. Obviously, almost no matter what supercharger you use, now there are obviously ways to make more power than this, but good 1,000 horsepower combos. What would you guys do with 1,000 horsepower? Let me know in the comments. Let's get to our bigger <laughs> seven liter combination. Our final 1,000 horsepower combination was a seven liter and it actually was a 427. It was not a factory LS7, but it's a 427 that we put together using an LSX block and it was a 4125 bore and a four inch crank. So it had a lot of good stuff on it. it had the LSX block, <clears throat> had forged internals. So it was definitely stout enough to take any kind of power that we were gonna throw at it. It had CP pistons and Corolla rods. It had Trick Flow LS7 heads on it and a Brian Tui Racing Stage 4 LS7 cam, MSD Atomic intake, and 105 millimeter Holly throttle body. So equipped as such, it made 656 horsepower and 592 foot-pounds of torque. So here's what happened. We actually ran two different superchargers on this combination. Both of them were prochargers. The first one was a D1SC, and we had their upgraded air-to-air -air intercooler on this thing. And we're able to just touch 1,000 horsepower, which is kind of getting up near the limit of the flow rate of that D1SC supercharger. But we were make like 1,003, 1,004 horsepower with that D1SC. And because we knew that we had more engine than we had supercharger, we installed a Procharger F1A94, also with that big air-to-air -air intercooler. So here's what happened when we installed the F1A94, and I'll go ahead and put the boost levels up for both of the D1SC and the F1A94. <laughs> but you can see we exceeded our 1,000 horsepower with the F1A by quite a bit. I mean, it was up over 1,200 horsepower, so up near 1,250. <clears throat> so that F1A was definitely capable, especially on a good combination like this. This 427 was already making good power and it was ready for any kind of boost that we could throw at it. So with the F1A94, we're, again, we're probably getting up near the limit of the F1A94. I think these things could probably go to, it looks like it wants to go to 1300 horsepower. So their rating that Procharger uses is obviously a little conservative. And we, this thing made good power. That's, that's a good supercharger. I really like that F1A94 especially on this 427. Let's get to our conclusion. Okay guys, what did you think about our 1,000 horsepower combinations? In fact, what did you think about the whole series? If you haven't taken a look at the other videos, you need to check them out. We started at 400 horsepower, now we've come all the way up in 100 horsepower increments, all the way up to 1,000 horsepower. Do we need to keep going? Let me know in the comments. But in this video, I wanted to cover different ways to make 1,000 horsepower. Now sure, we can always go the junkyard route, and we've gone over 1,000 horsepower with a Junkyard 4.8, with a Junkyard 5.3, and a pair of Junkyard 6 liters. So it's definitely possible, and it's probably the least expensive. But in this video, I wanted to show that there are different ways to make 1,000 horsepower. Because let's face it, everybody's different. I'm Richard Holdner, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring that bell. I'll keep the videos coming.